What is going on YouTube? It is your favorite gamer here, Above Average Cody, come at you with, yes, another controller video. I know there's been a lot of controller excitement, but um, I just got my brand new one and I'm very hyped. And today we're gonna be talking all about these bad boys right here. These, many of you have probably seen them, Many of you have probably tried them. Some might like them, some might not. But these right here are Control Freaks. Control Freak is a company that obviously makes stick attachments. These little bad boys are some cute little uh, rubber grips that actually attach to the top of your thumbstick. And my thumbstick comes off because I do have a brand new uh, Xbox Elite Series 2 here. But we're gonna talk all about Control Freaks today, why I love them, how I came to love them, and why, frankly, I refuse to play without them nowadays. So Control Freaks are little rubber attachments, again, that you attach to your stick. And I'm doing this video, guys, because I actually have this brand new set which I have to swap out of my controller um, because I need new ones, which I'll show you why today. But here's a, here's a thumbstick, regular thumbstick for a controller, little just three prong claw, it snaps right onto the top. And uh, they're not all this tall, they do come in different heights. And they're just really nice to have. And I'll get into how I kind of ended up uh, liking these things. So my friend actually showed me a set he had on his controller. They felt very nice, but I'm like, oh, I don't like how they raise the height of the stick. Um, when I was trying to figure out what I liked for controller as I started playing more competitive games, doing game battles and things like that, uh, I wanted to find a way to kind of give me an edge, if you will, but also find what is comfortable. And I'm not saying these necessarily make you better at playing on controller, but once you find what you like and how to play, you can then truly get good at the game because you found a setup that you like. So you can get these bad boys anywhere from like 12 to like 20 bucks. I paid $16.99 at GameStop, which honestly is a, the most I've ever paid for these bad boys. But uh, it says it customizes grip, increases comfort, and improves accuracy. It says it increases KD 26% on average. Just completely disregard that. That is like the dumbest statement ever. So we're gonna open these bad boys up. I do enjoy the purple galaxies, and that is because it comes with one high-rise stick, which raises it about that much, and then one mid-rise stick, which adds probably, I don't know, a half a centimeter onto your stick. The reason I need a new one, guys, is because I play with it a lot. I pop off the thumb stick. I'm always twiddling it in my hands and stuff, and the rubber piece actually came off from the plastic. I tried to glue it back on, but it's just, it's shot. So I'm gonna pop this bad boy off and then pop the new one on. Literally you just clamp it down onto the thumbstick it works with um any controller obviously these are the xbox ones so it work with any xbox controller and then if you want one for your playstation they have the ones for ps make sure you get the right ones guys obviously playstation ones don't work with xbox controllers and vice versa so yeah i'm snapping the new ones onto those bad boys i'll probably keep those for emergencies because guys this brings me to the part where i say I cannot play without them. I cannot play with a regular stick. Um, I like how it gives you the increased range of motion on the stick. Once you get used to a higher stick, guys, you cannot um, play on a regular height stick again. So I'll show you on a regular stick, guys. It just gives you a lot less control. You have much less leverage. It says here on the package I already destroyed, you get a plus 90% range of motion and plus 120% range of motion with the high stick. I don't know how true that is, but obviously much less control of the stick because there's just not as high. You get less leverage, if you will, on the direction you push the stick. And I realize all of this sounds like BS. I know that, guys, but I am not sponsored. I, I used to talk so much crap about these things and I said they were a waste of money and now this is my third or fourth set over the last three years, guys. I love these things. Trust me, I love playing with them. And um, it's not just the range of motion. I play raised right stick, so the, um, the look stick, I do play raised because I feel like it offers me more uh, accuracy and control over my aim. I generally play on a lower sensitivity with the raised stick and I just feel that's what works best for me in first person shooters of course and then the grips guys the grips at some point in your first person shooter journeys you are going to get sweaty i'm not talking competitive sweaty i am talking literally warm heat you are going to get sweaty fingers sweaty hands guys and that is where this is probably my favorite comfort controller setup yet because my elite one did not have these comfort grips these are fantastic for sweaty hands but we're talking about the control freaks guys these rubber attachments are so much nicer to grab and the purple galaxies i'm hopefully the camera focuses enough so you guys can see they have the little like concave little like uh 
pins on it. It's a nice rubber, so it's always grippy, guys. It is so comfortable to play with. And I this sounds like me trying to sell them to you, but I'm really not, guys. As somebody who is a wannabe competitive FPS player, um, I just love them, and it's just what I found comfortable. Again, I like higher sticks because I feel like it gives you so much more range of motion over a generic height Xbox controller. So I play with the mid-rise, which gives me a little bit of height on the move stick, which feels a little weird when you're getting used to it because when you're trying to sprint and stuff, it just feels like way too high. When you click it down, it feels like you're gonna snap your stick off. It's not gonna happen, I promise. And then I already explained why I like the raised right stick. And guys, I kinda just wanna do this video to tell you that I'm, as somebody not trying to sell you the Control Freak product, I really do think these help you in terms of controlling your aim and just being overall comfortable on the sticks, especially if you're playing a lot of battle rails and things like that, where sometimes you're playing extreme track and field simulator and you're just sprinting across fields. These are way more comfortable, they're durable, and just, it's, I feel like it makes for a better gaming experience in first person shooters. I may be wrong, some of you may not enjoy it or have the same opinion. If you don't, feel free to let me know in the comments. But I love these things, guys. That's why you just saw me swap out that set for the new set. And again, these things will last way longer, but I'm always like playing with them on my Elite because I like popping the stick off. It's more of like a fidgety, like boredom thing, like between games or while I'm dead spectating somebody. But um, they're great, guys. I love them. And mostly a lot of you want to know what I run for my controller setup. And I have brought up the Control Freaks uh, in past videos talking about my controllers, but I haven't really gone in depth into why I like them. So that's basically what this video was. It's a quick one. It's a weird one, but I just wanted to rave about Control Freaks. Control Freak, if you're seeing this, sponsor me. I love your product. I'll sell them for you. But as of now, guys, I'm just a regular dude gaming, and I love them, and I will not play without them. Once you get comfortable with them, you will understand why and what I was talking about, and you will not want to play on a regular height stick again, or a regular grip stick at least, because once you play with these cute little rubber things, guys, it blows everything every other control stick out of the water it is so nice you can get different colors you can get different um like this one's concave because it dips in it's an inward dipping circle you can get a uh, concave i think it's called where it's rounded off so if you're into that style of stick um you can get those and literally they just snap onto the existing stick on your controller it doesn't get much better guys and it looks nice look at that it gives your controller some serious personality but all right guys that's about everything i can say about some rubber stick attachments for your controller i love them feel free to talk to talk about them in the comment section guys let me know if you like them let me know if you run them let me know if you're gonna get some to run i'll let you know uh which ones i like and if i didn't get the raise right stick which set i would get because not every set, like some sets are one raised, one normal, some sets are both normal, some sets are both raised. So just make sure to pay attention to what you're getting before you buy them if you do decide to go this route, guys. But uh, that does it for the Control Freak video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below. Leave a like on this video if you're feeling so inclined. And again, talk to me in the comments. Talk to me what you run on your controller. What's your controller setup, guys? And feel free to go check out all the other... Uh, setups. I just did an unboxing on the new controller and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I very much appreciate all of you. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.